Hey guys, so let me get a drink of my football beverage here. That's a football beverage. Um, so I had told you in an earlier blog, if you watched it, that I'm in this fantasy football league. And what they do, it's, in the, it was with, it's with the NFL. And what they do is they have the games each week, and you pick the winners. You just do picks. <clears throat> and uh, this week they had 16 games, 16 picks. So I was going into Sunday Night Football with the Broncos and the Patriots at 10 and 4. I was like, this is a lock. 11 and 4, it's a lock. Because I chose the Patriots to beat the Broncos. And it should have been a lock. The Broncos, okay, you've got an injured lineman, Mathis. <clears throat> you've got a couple of backup defensive players. You've got some backup receivers. You've got a backup quarterback in Osweiler. Patriots, you've got all starters and top guys and, and Brady, the MVP, Super Bowl winning quarterback. I mean, and undefeated. Okay, the uh, Patriots were going into this game undefeated. Next to the Carolina Panthers, who are undefeated. Two undefeated teams. This is one of them. They're playing the Denver Broncos. It's a lock, right? Well, almost. Let's talk about it here for a second. <clears throat> so it comes down to the fourth quarter. It comes down to the last, what, four seconds of the game. I'm thinking, oh, my God. Goskowski comes out, kicks the field goal. Yes, buddy. We're tied. We're going in overtime. I'm thinking, we got this. I'm going to be 11-4. and four on my picks with a game left tomorrow night. Now, tomorrow night, I've picked the Ravens to win. I want to know what you guys think. You guys got to get, you got to tell me by tomorrow night. Cause you know, if I, I don't know, I think it's a good pick. Let me know. Huh? I'm kind of worried now after this. So anyway, so no, so I'm going, I'm going, you know what? I got this. So we tied it. We go into overtime. I'm a 49er fan, but I'm rooting for the Patriots because, of course, I picked them to beat the Broncos in my league. Now, as overtime comes, Brady screws up. I don't know what's going on with this guy. He's been sacked more in the last couple of weeks than in the last two seasons, I think. I don't know. It's, what's wrong with this guy? And Gronkowski hasn't been looking as good. He hasn't been uh, as busy as he usually is. Yeah, he made a touchdown or two the last couple of weeks. He made a couple of touchdowns. But he hasn't really been as busy. I, I think he's having issues with his knee uh, or his arm. He did get injured tonight. He's out for the season. I know some people are going to say, well, you don't know that. Look, the guy's out for the season. Come on. He hurt himself. He was banging the field with his fists. He's out for the season. Okay, that, that aside. So what happens is that Brady pretty much throws it away. The Broncos come out on the field. We're thinking Osweiler, backup quarterback, Patriots defense. These guys are pros. These guys are undefeated. They've been to the Super Bowl. Come on. We got this, right? No. <clears throat> and they're playing in the snow. I mean, they don't have snow in New England. They're in Mile High Stadium tonight in Denver. But I'm thinking they don't have snow in in. New England, where they play? They're, they should be used to playing in the snow. So when a guy has the ball and he's running down the field, uh, Patriots defense, it's A-OK -okay to tackle the guy. It's OK to give him a good push out of bounds. It's OK. You're, 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 you can do that. It's called football. No, what do they do? They let this guy run into the end zone and end the game. Yeah. So, bottom line, just to sum it up, the Broncos did beat the Patriots tonight. The Patriots are no longer undefeated because the only undefeated team now is the Carolina Panthers and Cam Newton, who is Superman. Um, I don't know why I did that. <clears throat> what is that? And what is this thing Cam Newton's doing now? Is he trying to be like Scuba Steve? You know, what? is he going to change up or something? Is he tired of being Superman? I don't know. Anyway, the Carolina Panthers are the only undefeated team left in the league. Uh, the Patriots are no longer undefeated, and I'm not very happy about that because I am now 10-5 and five in my picks when I should be 11-4. and four. Thank you, Brady. Thank you, all of you. 
with the New England Patriots who fucked up and couldn't win the game against a backup quarterback, a bunch of backup receivers, and an injured fucking lineman named Mathis. Thank you, guys. Love you, Boston. Huh? I hope you choke on your fucking beans.